A leading expert on crime says what you're about to see is proof of imposter police officers working on the streets of Nashville. Yeah, so the experts say they look the part wearing vests and badges that read police, and they're often working off duty as security. What Chief Investigative Reporter Jeremy Finley just obtained today shows why there is such a concern. A top law enforcement attorney says what you're about to see is a public safety issue. Like attorneys and doctors, police officers have to have a license, often referred to as certification. It proves they've gone through the right training and ethics to be police officers. It's why so many officers proudly show their thin blue lines on their cars. But what we found tonight is instead the thin blurred line. It's a Friday at the Opry Mills Mall and working security alongside all the people wearing vests and badges that read police <laughs> is Nick Jordan. That's him in the middle, dressed the same as the others, wearing a gun, even with a yellow patch that reads police. But listen to what he says when I ask him his police status. You have on your police badge. Yes, Are you a police officer? I'm not allowed to answer any questions with media related. I'm sorry. And we have a lot of questions for Jordan. In 2018, after earning his police certification, he quit the Shelbyville Police Department after being recommended for termination, accused of unwanted touching. According to the state, when you leave a department, you lose your certification until you're rehired at another department. And guess what happened in 2021? He was arrested for impersonation of a police officer because he was using blue lights to direct traffic. When questioned about it, Jordan admitted he was not law enforcement. Last year, he pleaded guilty to the crime, but you won't find it on his record. It's been expunged. Last Friday, we found him wearing a police patch. And he's not alone. A WSNB4 investigation found other men not certified as police officers wearing police patches and badges, exposing that you can get away with needing no state certification, and the public still believes you're a police officer working off duty. This is a public safety issue. David Rabin represents law enforcement officers and is a former district attorney. You want to be sure that when you say, officer, can you help me? Or officer, I need help. That person's a real police officer. These folks are indistinguishable from real police officers. See for yourself. Earlier this month, we went undercover in downtown Nashville and found Mason Schweppe alongside two off-duty police officers who showed us their licenses. And like his peers, Schweppe is wearing badges that read police. Paperwork for the state, though, shows he has no license to be a police officer and has not informed the state he works for any police force, only security. But here's what he says when I asked him. Are you a police officer, though? Yeah, we're all doing off-duty uh, work. And remember, he's not a certified police officer in Tennessee. So are you a certified police officer? Yeah. I looked up your background and you are not a certified police officer. But I was at one time though. Not in Tennessee though. You said that you're certified and you're actually not in the state of Tennessee. Correct. But you're wearing a badge that says police. Private duty though. Have you ever heard of a private duty police officer? There's, there's no such thing. And a big sticking point, the word police on their uniforms. In an email to WSMV4 Investigates, the agency that certifies police officers wrote, as far as uniforms, state laws have prohibitions related to the style of uniforms and badges worn by security guards or use of the word police on the uniform. They're violating the law. The harm, Jeremy, is that the public is confused. The other police officers that may need assistance, they may be confused. And then there's Chris Tubbs. I'm taking care of these people. Who on his many TikToks wears police t-shirts and vests, working downtown Nashville and at Opry Mills. And like the others, he has no license to be a police officer. Just today, we received this, a complaint filed with the state program that regulates security guards. It reads that Tubbs is pulling cars over in his privately owned vehicle with blue lights on, impersonating an officer. I reached Tubbs by phone this week and asked about the TikTok videos. When you were wearing the uniforms in 2022, you were not a certified police officer. His answer, no. I mean, sure wasn't. Not going to lie to you about it. Not going to lie to nobody about it. I did it for the money. I'll be honest with you. In a city where certified police officers rushed towards a bombing on Christmas Eve, 
where certified police officers risked their own lives during a school shooting. Rabin believes these men are risking criminal charges. If you're running around with a weapon on, bulletproof vest with the thing that says police on it and a badge, you're violating Tennessee law. There's no question about it. So you're probably asking what we are. Don't security companies have to verify that they're using certified officers if they're going to wear those police vests and patches? Well, that's the kind of question we're putting to security companies. We're digging and we'll bring you more as soon as we get answers. Jeremy Finley, WSMV4 Investigates.